Hey guys, happy New Year's Eve. I can't believe we've already come to the end of 2021. My day's been good so far, but I was really hoping to catch some of the daylight, but uh, to film this video, but unfortunately the sun is going down. So I apologize for the lack of natural lighting here today. I wanted to make this video just to kind of close off the new year, close off the end of 21 going into the new year was to just show you guys what I have in my flood denim bag, which I always keep on hand with me because it has some very important things that I'll need um, on board. Whereas my carry on suitcase just has like my clothes and my food. So that's up for more videos, but for now, I hope you're having a fabulous Friday. Uh, Happy New Year's Eve. Hope you guys are having an awesome time wherever you are. Uh, if you're across the world, happy 2022 to you now. I know it's already New Year's there, so we're just prepping for the new year and you guys are already celebrating and kickstarting the new year, hopefully on a good note. So let's get started. One of the first things that I keep in my flight attendant bag is my flight attendant manual. Now, when you're on the aircraft, there are different configurations that you work on. There are five different airplanes that we work on, but then there are multiple variations of that aircraft. So this book contains all the information of the breakdown of the airplane, including the functioning of the emergency exits. It's basically your Bible. It's got everything you need for a quick reference. Um, it's, it's the holy grail. So if you have a question, it would be in your FAM, which is short for flight attendant manual. Um, you can easily access a virtual version of the FAM, but in case Transport Canada is on our flight and they want to make sure our book is up to date, we require to have a physical copy for them to go through and to make sure we are all um, set and good to go with all the new paperwork. Uh, they're always updating the FAM. Next thing that we have, it is our onboard uh, announcements book. So when we're doing the announcements on board, it be a good resource uh, should we just not remember the full announcements, just to do it word for word. And it's just good to know at what point in the flight you're in. So if you're trying to figure out what comes next, just follow it to a T and you're good to go. Those are two very important books that I always carry with me. I'm always triple checking that I have them. Otherwise, I would be lost. Again, good to have the fiscal copy up to date and in tip top shape. Next, I have my union book. Um, answers that I need with regards to scheduling. I just have this as a quick reference to um, getting a hotel or getting a transportation. Everything that we need is in this book. So all three of these are my Bibles that I need to keep with me at all times to make sure that I'm um, up to date on the latest information. Next in my bag, I have, actually we'll just pull it out as we go. So <laughs> these are my oven mitts. And of course you can't ever find, how would you? How would you find everything that you needed after you just organized everything? Um, it's just a safer way to handle things without burning your fingers. I was blessed with, I call them chef's hands, I don't know if that's the actual term, but I can tolerate very high heats. So when I'm grabbing things, like I can typically grab them really quick barehanded, but just for safety, I got these, typically two, I don't know where the other one is, uh, oven mitts, um, just to make sure that everything uh, gets out safely and I don't burn myself. Next in here, I actually have my own personal first aid kit. This is super handy. We do have a first aid kit on board, but if you take something from the first aid kit, you have to write it down and then have it restocked. But it's good just for me to have on the road. Um, yeah, I highly recommend just having a first aid kit on hand. You just never know when you'll need it. Um, it's when you need it that you don't have it. So it's just good to have always. It's not really heavy either. I put a lot of stuff in here and plus it came with a lot of stuff. Um, good to good to have. Ha ha ha. This is important. I got my tie to go stick. Uh, we do have to wear a white blouse as our uniform piece and first class cabin, you do work with a lot of liquids and food items that could potentially stain your outfit. I haven't stained it yet, but this is just here because we know it's coming. We know I'm going to spill on myself eventually. So this is just good to have um, if you're in a quick need to remove a stain. This is my saving grace, especially in the winter time or if I'm feeling headachy or a little under the weather. Um, this is my Sage Pocket Pharmacy. I've mentioned this before and I just can't tell you enough how much I love this thing. So this one comes with six miniature little oils, um, all with different qualities. Uh, so we have Pep Halo, which is wonderful for headaches. I tend to put them on my temples or even behind my neck. It gives like a nice minty sensation, which really helps soothe any headaches that I'm having. We have our immune booster. This is really good too if you're kind of feeling under the weather, especially with the winter season, especially with cold and flu season. Take care of yourself. I would highly recommend just having this on hand. 
definitely check them out. I'm going to link all of my products in the bio uh, so that if there are certain things that you want to get, I will make sure to link them so you know where to get them. I found it. It was just on the opposite side of my bag. One of my New Year's resolutions is to use an agenda. I went to Chapters the other night and it's just so hard to resist these cute looking floral notebooks. Um, it's light, it's compact, it, I think it's got everything that I need in it and more. Um, so my goal is to use this agenda to a T. Like my other books that I have that are my Bible, this will be my organizational Bible. I spend money on it, I need to hold myself accountable and to use it. So this is a new addition to my flight attendant bag. Pens, pens, uh, staying in hotels, you can collect a lot of pens and you will always have one at your disposal, but somehow I only have two right now. So that's something I always keep on hand. With my blazer, it's nice. I do have an inside breast pocket. It's phenomenal. Like, it's just nice to be like, oh, there's my pen. Like, it's just so accessible. Cliff bars. These are my current obsession. These are my go-to. Like, if I'm just needing a quick pick-me-up, this is my snack. When I get to the hotel and there's no food, I got a cup of soup that I can make and a cliff bar for dessert. It's just so good. It gives me the extra protein that I need, but these are like, I don't know what I do without them basically. Gum. This is super helpful, especially when the pressure is intense on the aircraft. Don't recommend using this when you're speaking with passengers, but if you're like really congested or if you just find the pressure so intense, chewing a piece of gum when you're traveling really does help. My Bluetooth ear pods. Earpods? Earpods. These are not earpods, but you know, earbuds. Um, these are really good. Obviously don't wear them where you're working, but it's just good to keep in my travel bag, especially when I have a bit of a layover somewhere, whether it be an hour or so, just to keep me entertained while I wait for my next flight. Hand sanitizer. I have a bunch of these. I have a whole section just dedicated to PPE. Uh, so no shortage there. Deodorant. I am constantly sweating, but when you're working and it's really hot and the fabric of your clothing isn't very breathable, it's normal. You sweat. So I just bought this new deodorant. It's Degree Odor Protect Calming Lavender, but it's aluminum free. Um, but I do like the Degree brand. I do find it works when I am working really hard. So we will test this out. I haven't tried it at work yet, so I'll let you know how it works. My blue light glasses. Um, I recently just got these and I actually haven't worn them yet. They've been sitting in my bag just waiting to be used super great they have a blue light filter so whenever I'm looking at a screen or anything at work which really does strain my eyes um, these will come in handy and Bailey and Nelson shout out to you guys I got this pair from them and I think they shape my face really nice I like how it's like kind of clear right here so it's not like a thick frame but yeah I also carry some extra gloves and I have a headband right now but sometimes I have a toque so wherever we're laying over, a couple of the shifts that I've had, we've been on the East Coast or Central Canada. So pretty cold right now. So extra layers is important. Uh, just so I don't freeze my little butt off. But I got a pair of boots finally. I've been going around to these snowy locations with my little dress shoes. And I don't know how I've made it this far without breaking my ankle. So we got boots. We're good. We are ready for winter. So like, good news everyone. She has boots. My little makeup bag, because sometimes you just never know. Your forehead, as I mentioned in my last video, gets a little shiny. You just need a little touch up, so it's just good to have my toiletry bag uh, on hand. I also keep my toothbrush and toothpaste in my bag. Should for some reason I misplace my suitcase, or sometimes luggage goes missing, I at least have everything I need in my carry-on, and I'm good to go. That is basically it. That sums up my show and tell of what's in my bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing more of these as my career goes on. I'm sure I'll be adding more, taking out some. So yeah, thank you for sticking around. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Appreciate you guys sticking around to the very end. And I hope you guys have a very happy new year. It is currently 5.32 in Toronto. So we are so close to the new year. I can almost taste it. <laughs> I smell success, I smell positivity, I just smell a fruitful year of good vibes. But I am sending all of that to you guys, sending you all my love for a happy new year and a prosperous new year at that. And I hope wherever you are, you are having an enjoyable time with loving uh, individuals all around you. Have a good night guys and I will see you in the new year. Bye.